Hi everyone, this is Kathy Leder from the Art Process Studio and I am going to be providing some things to do with kids at home during this time of crazy quarantine, coronavirus, uh, insanity and I'm sure that you as parents must be really tearing your hair out. So I'm doing these um, for you and I'm trying to help you use materials that are just around the house so that you don't have to go out, run out anywhere and get any. I'm assuming that most of you have some paints and paint brushes at home, um, but the rest of it is really uh, stuff you can use. So today's lesson is going to be um, about doing a simple little printing project, uh, mono printing. So mono printing means one print. And what we're going to use is um, you're going to put together some paint, uh, any paints. I usually like to um, just use certain like cool colors or warm colors, but you guys can use anything you want. On a plate, or a plastic plate, you can put the paint, you can use tempera paint, acrylic paint, whatever, even house paint you can use. Um, do not use watercolor, that does not work. And so really paint is the only thing that you need. I'm assuming you have some paint brushes lying around and if you don't have paint brushes, you probably have pastry brushes or something like that. Um, you need just a paper towel and um, I'll put a list of materials together uh, in, in combination with this um, video. But anyway, what we're going to do is um, we're going to be painting on any non-porous surface. So you can actually use a uh, things like glass or plastic, but I like to use something a little flexible and easier to work with. So one thing you can use is if you have at home um, pallet paper or freezer paper, what you wrap meat in has a plasticky surface at the t uh, you know, on the top. If you don't have any of that, we're talking about non-porous materials, so you can use wax paper works really super well, okay? And then if you don't have that, you can use a piece of plastic, um, like one of these sleeves from paper uh, document holder. Failing that, you can even use um, a, the cover of a glossy magazine paper. So here is here's that. I'll show you how each of them works. So what you're going to do is, I'll just take the freezer paper for now, is, oh, and I'll show you all the things you're going to need to use. But uh, let's just take some paint, and we're going to paint it on here with a brush, with a relatively thick brush. You can use whatever kind of shapes you want to paint. You can paint it flat, you can paint it round, whatever, it doesn't really matter. You have to work relatively quickly and then you can take Q-tips and draw into it. You can, I'm just for now doing sort of a spirally circular thing. Okay, I could do some lines around it, something very, very simple. Then I'm going to take some copy paper plain copy paper, and I'm going to lay this down on the paper, face down obviously, and I'm going to smooth, 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 smooth. And then when you lift it up, you get this beautiful print, which is gorgeous. So um, I'll show you, uh, you can do overlays with that. You can, um, let's see, uh, le let me try this on 
uh, wax paper so you can see how it works. It's pretty much the same thing. But um, let's take some of the blue, paint it on. The wax kind of um, does absorb this in a little bit of a different way. So I'm going to just, and you guys can do this with your kids. It's super fun. I do it with my adult classes as well, because you can do really sophisticated things. Um, so here, if you don't have Q-tips, you can actually use a spatula, an old spatula that I cut up. Um, you can even use a fork. You can use a, a credit card. You can use a stick. So let's say we'll just use this for now. And then we'll also use a stick. And um and our good old Q tip. So wax paper does absorb the paint a little bit, so you have to work quite fast. So I'm going to really um, smooth it down pretty well, lift it up, and you'll see it's a different kind of print. It's not as clear as the other one, but it's still pretty nice. And then I'll also show you um, what you get. This is a magazine. This is a glossy magazine cover from Vogue or some kind of um, some kind of fashion magazine, and I'm gonna paint on here. I'll do a little bit of white as well. Thrown in here. This magazine stuff works super, really well. I'm mixing up some paints on here just to have fun with it. Um, and then let's take our Q-tip again. Now you can also use a toilet roll if you make these circles in it. Um, and then uh, I'll make circles with a Q-tip. And now I'm going to take it, and instead of putting it on this white paper, I'm going to put it on this, um, from an old book, some text that I tore out. Uh, I, I collect old books and old dictionaries because I love using them for my collages. But let's see what happens. Not sure how this is going to work. If you smooth it onto this absorbent paper, you can use any paper as long as, um, that you're printing on as long as it's relatively absorbent. So you've got an, a, a non absorbent. Um, that you paint on, and then an absorbent paper that you print on. So let's see how this worked out. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. So, um, and you can see the text through there, the words through there. And I eventually, I use these papers for collages, which is really fun and what we can do next time for you. Um, but this actual, the magazine cover, the paper itself was nice. So if you put these together, we could make a really interesting abstract composition. I'll take a photograph of it when, uh, when I'm finished. And um, I think that's all I want to show you for now. So hopefully you'll experiment with this with your kids, have fun, 
I bet you you will land up have, <laughs> spending more time on this than your kids because it's really, really therapeutic and calming and um, have fun and enjoy. And um, don't forget to tune in to my uh, YouTube, my future YouTube videos on this. You can subscribe to my channel and um, I'll give you the details of that later. But enjoy. Bye.